Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather coming at you with another update. In this update, we're going to be talking about a historic winter storm with heavy snow, an ice storm, and record cold. So before I do get started, if you do like weather-related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media, all right? So let's get started. Here is your latest uh, snow depth as of this afternoon on uh, February the 15th. And look at this. This is pretty incredible. It just shows you how busy of a month this has been. Last month in January, only about 24% of the United States was covered in uh, snow. But now we're of over 70% across the nation that has some snow on the ground so that has been incredible and we've got more on the way so as we take a look at the latest uh, winter weather advisories we already have some uh, new warnings issued they just uh, expired the one in dallas but then they reissued another one for our second storm that's already coming in and that'll start to take effect by uh, tuesday night so yeah, we have fresh new winter storm warnings for a good chunk of Texas uh, going into parts of Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, Tennessee. We pretty much got the entire state of Indiana. I've never seen the entire state of Indiana over, under a winter storm warning before, as well as Ohio, uh, getting into portions of Pennsylvania and all up the coast. So we have a lot of real estate that's gonna be dealing with winter weather advisories and watches and warnings with ice, and uh, a lot of snow but on the south side unfortunately we have tornado watches that we're going to be dealing with as well uh, today that's extending through 10 o'clock tonight where they could have several to tornadoes in the northern panhandle of florida going into portions of georgia but let's been incredible i mean this this cold snap is one for the record books i mean look at these afternoon anomalies over a good chunk of real estate over the central U.S. I mean, we're talking upwards to a 40 and 50 plus below normal temperatures. I mean, the average high in Dallas is 60 degrees. They're literally sitting at 13 degrees right now at the high of the day. That is some extreme stuff. And that is just amplifying and that'll just intensify tonight. You're going to get dangerously cold. And unfortunately, that's having a major backup on the supply grid i mean uh here is the overall uh power outages right now we're up approaching four million people almost without power in texas this is some dangerous folk stuff i mean this is getting serious especially with record cold temperatures tonight and we have another severe storm that's on the way so uh, the, the power grid is maxed out with this, these extreme anomalies going, going into the central U.S. And it's just a, not a pretty sight. So we've, we, this is a dangerous setup that uh, there's, there's just unfortunate. It's a very unfortunate setup. But I mean, as we go into the southeast, yeah, we're going to have to deal with just the opposite because there's a warm front. I mean, temperatures well in the 80s, well in the 70s in Florida. And unfortunately, there have sev two actually tornado watches over the panhandle uh, and they could actually produce a few tornadoes and a couple intense tornadoes with significant gusts upwards of 75 miles per hour possible isolated hail of one and a half inches so yeah down here in the panhandle keep your eye out for any uh you know watches and warnings that'll be issued right now that's like i said this this tornado watch goes out till 10 o'clock uh this evening so definitely have your weather radio uh, ready but uh yeah there's the there's that winter uh, storm that we're gonna have to be dealing with that's that first system this is the first storm that's still moving out and dumping a lot of heavy snow uh in indiana and going into ohio now the latest data actually pushes that this warm front here in florida and the southeast ridge noses it a little bit further north so we're starting to see a little bit more mixed bag of precipitation the snow line is has uh, uh, shifted further north into the northern interiors which also creates that snow and ice 
uh, that ice set up a little bit further south. So now they're looking at more of a mixed bag, places like Pittsburgh going into say like a quarter inch of ice that you're gonna have to, have to be dealing with, with this initial setup as this continues uh, to move it up into the Northeast with some 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 ice into uh, western pennsylvania going into pl portions of uh, new jersey so that's an aspect you're gonna have to be dealing with with this storm as this continues uh, to lift up the coast up in some very heavy snow along the border here so along the along the great lakes you should pick up a lot of very heavy snow places like cleveland ohio a good foot foot and a half you know coming up with with the this storm you know going up to the northeast with a, a, a mixed bag of freezing rain and sleet extending all the way into uh, P P uh, Pennsylvania going into uh, Vermont and New Hampshire as this eventually will kind of lift out uh, on the backside but tonight yeah that's when it just really maxes out with our intense uh, cold air that's what we've been talking about for the last week this is going to be your coldest night and it extends all the way south in a big way i mean we're talking crazy almost probably all time record lows are calling for five degrees in houston texas tonight that is some insane stuff possibly negative temperatures in the dallas Worth area and all these green areas these are all below zero temperatures i mean look at the chunk of the country that's going to be below zero tonight and these are actual temperatures and not even feels like and so that's why they're having some significant uh, uh, strain on the power grid because everybody's just trying to stay warm and they're just not used to that extreme stuff down in the south so unfortunately we have another system that we're going to be talking about as this swings across from the northwest that's going to be diving in uh it, dumping some more snow for the four corners region get it into new mexico and that will start to enter uh texas by the time uh, tuesday afternoon on the 16th rolls around and that's why they already implemented a winter storm uh warning for oklahoma and portions of the of texas because we have that yet another snowstorm that's going to be breaking out, dumping some more heavy snow in Kansas and to Oklahoma. And then on the south side, we'll also have a warm nose, a warm air evection that we're going to, have to be dealing with as well. Unfortunately, from this storm, and this looks like a little bit more of a mixed bag precipitation rather than the first storm, say in Dallas, where you're going to be dealing with, with the snowpack already on the ground. This one comes with unfortunately freezing rain and sleet and kind of a mixed bag over the metroplex are actually calling for up to a quarter inch of ice on top of two to six inches of snow on the backside with this second system so you've already got that snow you're dealing with on the ground and this will continue uh, lifting off into louisiana where unfortunately they're gonna have a significant ice threat for even portions even the the, the the ice threat even gains strength as it continues you know further south and that's when they can have you know half inch almost possibly three quarters of an inch it could be crippling out in east texas going into places like shreveport as this continues moving across but it should be uh snow on in arkansas getting into missouri going a little bit further north into iowa uh what even into portions of uh minnesota could get some just kind of a drier because that's where the arctic air is and, and arctic is the driest air but as this continues uh moving across we'll still see that snow implementing all all over uh, arkansas getting into portions of western uh tennessee and kentucky by then and but yeah that crippling ice storm will continue lifting off into uh southern southern arkansas and traverse along this banding and this particular system looks to be even a little bit further north than the last system so that'll push that snow line a little bit further north the freezing line a little bit further north the rain line a little bit further north so all this area will be green that's all rain even flooding rain and then you'll be dealing with those that tornado watch that we talked about earlier but that should subside as this continues lifting across by the time thursday the 18th rolls around this system will continue lifting off into the mid-atlantic and now we're going to be dealing with again more freezing rain and sleet mixed bag for places like west virginia get into portions of virginia get into baltimore get into uh, delaware all these places along the coast in southern pa we're going to be dealing with this kind of a snow and ice threats and just a mixed bag it's just some ugly stuff guys i mean then 
all snow in the north side. So you guys live in, say, northern uh, Indiana, northern Ohio, uh, upstate New York. I mean, you're going to be almost all snow uh, with this particular system as this continues uh, lifting across. That'll try to bring some of the some of the, the rain further inland, the snow and ice uh, further inland as it continues lifting across into Massachusetts, to Connecticut and Rhode Island and Boston area. Kind of a mixed bag with this with this initial setup by going into the overnight on a Thursday, going into Friday morning, the 19th. This will continue lifting off into the northeast, dumping your heavier snows into the northern interior regions. And then a mixed bag in the south side. It's just going to be some ugly stuff up there. And then, of course, you have the snow uh, on the back side uh, lifting out. So, but yeah, going forward, I mean, this is by Friday. I mean, you can see this cold air just locks in all week, guys. I mean, this is just a, not a pretty setup for the central U.S. and these portions down in the south. I mean, these colder anomalies stay with us all week long this is friday morning by the 19th i mean it still stays extremely cold for an ex extended period of time you see that pacific ridge kind of building in from uh from the west and those will have your above average temperatures and here you got the the southeast ridge trying to build in further uh, here but uh, this is locked and loaded here but it doesn't really subside until possibly into the weekend but we got all week to get through and this is by sunday the 21st and it literally just tries to get back to some sort of normalcy uh by then as the weather pattern tries to warm up i mean it has warmed up but even get even this will be a very nice site for a good chunk of the south that you're gonna have to long week ahead unfortunately with the some significant snow and ice here's kind of a mixed bag i put out the uh the blend of all the models to kind of give you a, a good scenario like i like i mentioned this banding right here around two to six inches in the dallas fort worth area uh, uh, here's your graph down here at the bottom another you know six to eight inches possibly in oklahoma but then where, where you get into your pinks and reds and kind of darker reds that's when you can start hitting those uh, 12 inch uh, snowfall totals and as we get extending further up to the north as we kind of tap into more of that lake effect snow that's when you can get see those even higher amounts of 18 inches if not almost two feet in areas up the coastline here so and then down further south where they do have some of the mixed bag coming in with that warm nose uh, we're going to have that mixed bag, but still some snow for you guys in Jersey and along the coast, along the I-95 corridor, but about three to five inches, you know, over the next five to five days uh, with this uh, system. But unfortunately, the ice is going to be a significant part of this system, especially with all the stuff that you're having to deal with already ahead of time. This just aggravates the issues going forward with more ice in Dallas, more ice in Central Texas, going to East Texas. This is where I do think we could have a significant ice threat getting into East Texas and portions like Shreveport, Louisiana, extending into portions of uh, Arkansas, getting along this boundary of Western Tennessee, uh, Western Kentucky, especially as we get into Virginia, West Virginia, and going up the coast again with this second system is going to be more of an ice threat than, than a snow threat. So yeah, we have a lot to deal with between now and Friday, unfortunately, but there are is a light at the end of the tunnel by the time the weekend rolls around we have some sort of normalcy coming back in the picture. So hang with me, guys. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Uh, do like this video. Definitely leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where I protect you before and after the storm.